All right, here we go. Open up the season against the Memphis Tigers. We're a 75 overall for North Dakota State. 74 over for the Memphis Tigers. Don't really know at the top man who they have. We will see, though. The top players for us. We got Menard and Dempsey on the defensive side of the ball. And Easton Stick at the quarterback spot. And looking at Memphis, not really familiar with any of these guys. And again, after Paxton Lynch, I mean, who do they really have? But Dorseus, Miller, and Montiel. Looks like their top three players are on the offensive side of the ball. So, Oh, Perkins, let's go. Oh, shit. Nice gainer there. 34 yards for the senior, Eric Perkins. Look at that. Great pass pro. The running back picking up the edge rusher. Cross the middle. Easy peasy. That great route running. Big time play. I don't think uh, Memphis's defense can handle the Bison today. Oh, Carson Wentz's brother, Connor Wentz, coming up with the 11-yard reception on third down. Talent runs in that family. Oh, Kick Frazier gets outside and untouched. For the first touchdown in the North Dakota State Bison Dynasty mode. The team goes hyped. They're so hyped. The first touchdown in the FBS for this program. Relatively easy. Great blocking from the offensive line. Again, I have to reiterate, I don't think this Memphis defense really is any sort of special whatsoever. Oh, my God. We're getting picked apart. I think my controller's busted. My friggin' right stick doesn't work. And I, as you can see, we missed the extra point. And I can't do any like the spin moves with my defensive line because I don't think the right stick works. God, go Frazier. Set the edge. Run that guy over. Oh, sh man. I'm telling you right now, King Frazier's a monster. That, he looks slow as bricks. Looks like he's slow as bricks. Looks like he's playing like uh, DeMichael Murray, you know? He got his entire contract in pennies. But look at that. The power run, the patience, like a Le'Veon Bell back there. I think only good things are going to happen with King Frazier this season. Oh, nice scramble there from Easton Stick. We're going to hit him. I like that matchup with the slants. We're going to go with the no huddle offense, but a 13-yard run. We do need to remind ourselves that Easton Stick is a mobile athlete. I think he has, like, what, low 80 speed, so he can do some damage with his feet. Come on, let's see if we go. Jump him right at the bat, right at the bat. Boom. Oh, okay, not a great pass at all. Chris Morley getting in there for the pass deflection right now for the, well, pretty much just the first quarter. Uh, 66 yards here for Easton Stick as a passer. Let's just go with Overliable here. King Frazier has been a beast for us. There we go. Come on. Look, he just bowls his way into the end zone. Now, here's the thing. I don't. I have to maybe dig out and see if I can find another Xbox 360 controller. But because I can't kick PATs because my uh, right analog stick is butchered, we have to go for two. We're pulling a Chip Kelly at Oregon, and we're only going for two. For this entire game. So let's see what we can do here. Maybe cross out will be the play. Well, that 11 plays, 77 yards, 2 minutes of time controlling this game. Maybe we hit Carson Wentz's brother here. That'd be a good pay. play. Or he takes it himself. Easton Stick takes it up with a, oh, with a big stiff arm on number 10. That pull us to a 14 to nothing lead over the Memphis Tigers. Is that what they're called? Memphis Tigers. Alright, let's see if we can get him the bite here on a play action. I like Perkins, the senior, going across the middle. The mobile stick moves. Well, that's throwing the run, baby. Get your run block. Oh, fuck. Close. Now it's time. The most interesting part of this game to date. How does the C4 special run in NCAA 14? Great completion there from Easton Stick. Accurate throw on the run. Connecting with the senior there. But now it's time to see if King Frazier can execute the C4 special to perfection. We could go. Do we even have... Halfback toss to the left. It isn't really the C4 special if you go to the right. It's kind of a cop-out. Oh, we have the backup in done. The speedier back. Get him out into space. Too easy. Oh, shit. Oh, real close. Maybe not as easy as we thought, but Landstown gets in from two yards out to make it a 21. Hopefully, we're going to have to go for two again. So hopefully, a 22 to nothing ball game here. I can actually kick extra points. I just have to fucking super press down on the right analog stick. So we may be all right here.
Oh, interception! Computer pick Wimbush. Great name. Thank you very much. Terrible throw there for the Memphis quarterback. Completely read by Jalen Wimbush. Look at this pick. He goes with a quick pass. They're not even going to show it so bad. Look at that. Too easy. Number 23. Probably getting about 7, 8 yards there. Setting our offense up on the 12-yard line. C4 special right now. Let's, I want to see what King Fraser. He's a little bit slow. But I want to see how he executes a C4 special-like play. Let's see what we can do. Throw it out. There we go. Oh, my God. Two. Oh, shit. Was well, looking kind of easy, but that linebacker's real quick. You're going to have to watch out for that guy. I don't know who he was. Never heard of him. Like I said, right now at the top of my head, these are like the updated rosters. I don't think I can name one guy in Memphis. Riley Ferguson's their quarterback. That's about it. Oh, shit. All right, third and one. I'm thinking we see if we can get him to bite on a play-action pass. 82 yards and two touchdowns already in this first half from King Frazier. We got a, anything play action? There we go. Wide receiver cross. Who's our Y wide receiver? Erzendowski. I'm liking that. Oh, they don't even bite. Let's go stick. Oh, on the one yard line. I'm liking that. That's one thing I got to remember. I'm not completely used to playing with a true dual threat quarterback like that with Easton Stick. But I mean, you can just see right now, he looks. Almost a step faster than most of the people on the Memphis defense. Let's see if we can punch it in here with King Frazier for his third. Look how slow he looks, but still able to get his third rushing touchdown of the day. Memphis isn't very good, but they're making North Dakota State look like freaking FBS champions right now. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck! See, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Maybe I'll just go for two every time. Just play it safe. That's a pretty rough halftime score. 27 to nothing. North Dakota State. Who's the FCS team? Who's the former FCS team? I don't see it. Let's continue this body bag. Especially with this sick goddamn Nissan car. Let's rock and roll. King Frazier's a beast. Oh, here's a Dinsky on the third down conversion. Everything is going right for North Dakota State right now. Like, we have a little bit of respect. We're putting in the mercy rule. We've just been running the ball with, with the kill the clock, bleed the clock option on. Man, the more I play this game, see the options, it makes me miss that NCAA football still probably at the least, if it ever comes back, like two, three, look at that. See, we're just killing the clock. Mercy, we have respect for the Memphis program. You know, they did some good things with Paxton Lynch. So we don't want to rub it in their face too, too much. So we're just going to continue to bleed out this clock with King Frazier. But man, some of the, like, just the features of this game, the way the game plays, so much better than Madden, man. I can't reiterate that fact enough. 27 to nothing at the end of the third quarter. We're, gonna, we're not going to have any more flashy plays. We're going to do the respectful thing and just close this game out injury-free. Come on, King. we got to punch it in. Who's in there? Frazier's still in the backfield. Let's actually, can we switch this? I like this side. A little less linebackers over here. This is the right option. Look, he gets the block. He gets sets to the edge. And King Frazier gets in from five yards out. Breaks a school record with four rushing touchdowns in one game. He has been dominant. And he's truly living up to the name King Frazier. That's a King Booker. But King Frazier, man, he's the beast. And we're going to go for two here. Not to, like I said, we're trying to do our best. To kill the clock and run it out. But, you know, the controller, you know, you can only do so much. We have to go for two because I just don't want to look like a dickhead missing extra points. Scrambles. Just walk it. Easton stick. That's a late tackle. Unsportsmanlike there. They go up 35 to nothing. Look at all the Florida Gators are 25th ranked. Just beat Toledo. 21 to 14. Nice day there from Jordan Scarlett. Hunt 19 carries, 153 and 2. Luke Del Rio is their starting quarterback, which is kind of gross. And Quincy Wilson had four tackles. Let's go. 35 0. That should be the final score. We're going to, you know, the white flag is waving on the Memphis Tigers sidelines. All right, here we go. We're sitting at third and one. They've been running the ball. Pretty much all of Memphis offense is coming through the running back, Dorsius. I think they'll go for it on fourth down just to try to have some respect. Oh, and they get it with the goddamn read option. But that Dorsius guy is 100% their offense. Like, if they have 100 yards total for this game, which I don't even think they've hit that yet, 
That Dorsius guy's responsible for 95. Let's see if we can bring Mannard over, our best player on the defensive side of the ball. And bring some pressure on Riley Ferguson. He gets chop blocked. And then he just sails it in to the very mildly packed Fargo Dome in South Dakota. I have no idea what city is, what cities are in South Dakota, to be completely honest with you. Fargo? That's that where it is? Is it in Fargo like the TV show and the movie? Oh, there we go. Maynard breaks off his block and makes a minus two-yard tackle for loss on Jamarius Henderson, the running back. I mean, just a bad day for the Memphis Tigers all in all. And it just, you know, how about you just take a couple of knees? Have some respect for your program and take a couple of knees. Third and goal. Oh, shit. Come on, I want that shadow. All right, Dempsey. Trey Dempsey makes a nice tackle there on Robbie Young. Only three-yard reception, but it's fourth and goal. I don't know if they're going to go for the field goal just so it's not a shootout. No, there you go. At least they're playing it like a man. They're saying we're not just going to go for like, hey, at least we got a field goal. You know, free pizza at Little Caesars. They're not going for that. They're trying to get some touchdowns here. I don't blame them, but look at that. Bad call. Absolutely stuffed. Then goes Nick DeLuca coming on the big hit there to hold Jamarius Anderson to just nothing. Very surprised they took Dorsius out of the game. He's the only guy that did anything. And now it's time for us. Just the closest thing. I don't know if we're going to get any points. I, unless they have a complete blow up. I think we're just going to run it out with King Frazier here. Stay in bounds. Do the respectful thing. 128 rushes. 150 yards. Four touchdowns. And we're just, we're just going to keep running it, man. Let's be respectful. Let's, have this, let's, just, let's just ride this shit out to the end. I'll stick with you. No more fancy cuts. Oh, that was a good play there. And the safety coming up, holding us to zero. Sharif right, eight tackles, two tackles for loss. Has been probably the most influential playmaker on the Tigers' defense. It's going to be the last play of the game. But best believe we're going to get it in here. Because who knows, we might be getting close to the rushing yard record for King Frazier. So he's saying Connor Wentz in motion. And King Frazier gets to the outside. Ooh, gets popped. Gets a first down, four yards on the play. But that will do it. 154 yards, four touchdowns on the day for King Frazier. But North Dakota State in their first official FBS game as a member of First Division football, they go off and dominate the Memphis Tigers. King Frazier, insane game. Shout out the opponent. Look at that XP. We're going to have so much to add to our coaching tree. It's going to be like, you know, Shawshank Redemption. We had to go find that tree. It's how that gigantic tree. That's supposed to be our coaching tree. What a great performance here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you, you got in, you know, you got what you were looking for out of this as we plan to bring this as, you know, this is going to be something that we do that has no boundaries. It's not like it ends at the end of Madden 17 and then we start over again because there's no new college game. So this could be a very long time series. If you guys truly want it to be, let me know any feedback in the comments section below. If you're new, this is your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, it's C4.